Uh, to start with, I just had a general kind of uh, cold, feeling uh, very weak and very tired, uh, and eventually actually got uh, rushed to hospital because I ended up in a coma. Not too distant past, if, if you were a child diagnosed with diabetes, it was basically a death sentence. Originally, they didn't know that uh, diabetes was associated with the pancreas. They did a pancreatectomy in dogs, which means taking out the pancreas, and they were really surprised to find these dogs got diabetes. Um, they then managed to take the pancreases of dogs and form some very crude extract, which was basically mashed up pancreas, inject it into the other diabetic dogs, and they realised that this really helped in getting the blood glucose down. You always have to inject insulin with every meal you have, so at breakfast, lunch and dinner time you have to have to in, uh, inject insulin. Uh, and then you also have to take another injection of insulin, which is released slowly throughout the day. Um, if you accidentally inject a little bit too much insulin, or if um, you've been doing more sport um, than usual, your blood glucose levels can actually drop to a dangerously low level, and this um, can make you go into coma. I have a twin, twin sister and I remember her telling me recently she was really worried and used to uh, check in the night that, that I hadn't um, passed out because I was hypo. Um, so I think they used to, I think the biggest worry for them was that you, you go hypoglycemic and then you can go into a hypoglycemic coma. Another way forward that I'm particularly interested in is transplantation. And the idea behind this is that you would take cells that produce insulin and transplant them to the diabetes patients so that they wouldn't have to inject insulin. I think the biggest impact it has on your life is that it's a constant uh, worry in a sense that you have to uh, monitor your glucose levels all, all the time. Uh, and I think worrying about being uh, hypoglycemic is probably one of the biggest problems associated with diabetes. Transplantation is something that's very difficult to do without having a whole body. Transplantation of the islets of Langhans, which are these bundles of cells that contain the, introduce, the insulin producing cells, when you transplant them, you need to get a new blood supply, you need to get a new nerve supply. So it's really difficult to transplant without using an animal, unfortunately. Human islet transplantation has been done and um, this was a consequence of people finding out that islet transplantation in rodents worked. Uh, the trouble with human islet transplantation is it's, it's only confined to a very small number of patients and this is because of the risks involved. Uh, the patients need to go on immunosuppression and for most patients it's safer just to stay on insulin. But what our research wants to do is make it more widely available to hide the islets from the immune system so that we wouldn't have to give the patients immunosuppressive drugs which are, um, have a lot of bad side effects. And we're doing that by encapsulating the islets so that the immune system doesn't recognise them. So the other aspect that I'm looking at is I'm trying to make the, islets, uh, tra the islet transplantation more efficient so that we could transplant fewer islets to one patient because at the moment usually two pancreases are needed uh, to cure one patient and obviously this leads to a huge lack of, of donor tissue. Uh, in, a, in an ideal world for anyone with diabetes I think um, the treatment would be to, to make sure that you no longer have to spend a lot of time uh, and to think about testing your blood glucose concentrations. So I think just taking away the, the fact that you have to think about it a lot of the time um, would be the best thing.